Welcome back to Eye to Eye with Dennis Hall. Dennis, before I leave the comedy for, the, for a moment, um, to me, one of the basic ingredients of good comedy is uh, it's, it's, it's relationship to truth. Relationship yeah. to when a man has to say, ha, 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 but it's true, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> you, know, you know, talk a little bit about that, because I think yours, I think your comedy is very, very um, uh, well, closely related to well, um, direct is, observation. Yes, well, um, which I learned from early Bill Cosby records, really, because I always wanted not to have to do slackness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that I listened to it and listened to it and, and, and then it have some things I did that halfway through it I remember the Bill Cosby section and stop it and, and, and sometimes I don't do it again like dentists and all that thing. But things that I passed through and, and I was making the point that once you learn to laugh at yourself, your development does get swift. <laughs> once you learn to laugh at yourself, you know. I mean you could vex with your mother and them because they beat you and things. But when you look at yourself as being bad, that is why you get the licks. It, it becomes comfortable and palatable and you have a different relation with, with them and so on. Acting. Your first sort of serious um, acting was well, what, with Lord Have Mercy? No, nah, man. Like, I was it, a shepherd in 1959 in elementary school. I'm not talking about that. The only about, shepherd about ever with Plaster Paris. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Where was it? Plat? You had a, you had a Plaza, a cast on the hand, <laughs> and all the other shepherds signed it and so on. They know it had big in the days of shepherd. A Christmas play that I rewrote. I also rewrote um, Merchant of Venice. Chin, Chin from Princess Town was, 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 I rewrote all that. I was in elementary school, this is 58. Right. No, so what I mean is, you in mean terms of big time, um, no, big man. time TV work. I, well, TV, I mean. I, the, the, the series, Lord have mercy, Lord would have mercy. Be, yeah. Lord have mercy. And Lord have mercy, I end up with the same problem I had when I first started, guy. They say, oh, nobody's going to understand you. And they tell me they're bringing a coach for me. The second morning, I reach out, tell them, well, don't bring a coach, bring a ticket. I see a ticket, I see a ticket to Trinidad. I see these old tonsils, I bend back. Let me go with it. I say, I will slow down, you know, but I, I, I can't move the accent by bringing a coach. Mm -hmm. I was stupid. And they said, well, all right. And afterwards, and I was commended for that West Indian language that they understood. Right. You know, right. so that it, it, What was that experience like? I'm up in the cold. No, well, that, that part of the experience wasn't good. Um, actually, that is the longest I ever stayed out of Trinidad mm -hmm. in, my, in my entire existence. That was like three months. Whew. And then when we do the picture, I still stay out. I miss Cannibal right. for the first We're time in 60 years. talking about a winter tale. A six, winter first tale. time in 60 years, I miss Cannibal. Cannibal. Right. And, and, and I want to talk a little bit up. about your role in a winter tale. It's I, a I, very I, serious role. It's not a, well, it was not a, a comedian. Role. No, it wasn't comedic. How did you approach that? Well, I had the problem of not exposing too much, although I exposed, because I, my, in my opinion, the grandfather was the cause of the whole play. I'm Dwight Robbins. They call me Professor. I'm here to find out about the death of my grandson. The grandfather, they had a mighty grandson, but the grandson can't go to the rum shop, and the grand rather leave the grandson with this bag of paper. So that, which is what is happening to Trinidad too. And that is why the children has gone astray and so on. So that I had to be a grandfather and I couldn't show too much of this likeness because it was a very revelation to me when I read the play that the grandfather did because of this. You can't carry the boy in the, in the rum shop. Well, don't go. Or when the boy home go, but don't bring the boy and left him with this bag of paper where I'm going nowhere and shooting one another. So, I had that concept in my mind. So I just played straight grandfather and so on. So there was a sort of hidden guilt behind Yeah, behind yeah. That is why, that is why it, 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 it come out like I could act good. Mm -hmm. no. But it was, a, it was, it no. was that, that was the concept behind that why was bothering was you all the time. That's why you look so bothered. Right, right. I looked at it. And in the middle of nothing, although I caused it, I still, when I, when nobody can tell me, warm them, I turned Bajan. 
or the cabby or barge and slack with your grandchildren. And all, you know? So I had, and that control the channel is what I tried to play on really. So I wasn't really playing off of nobody, I was playing with one in my head. And what was, what, so what was in your head is from what you read in the text? In the, in the text. So that you analyze the part in the text to, and, to, and, to come to that idea. And, and, that and hide, hide half of the shame because it's my fault that the thing happened. You know? right. So I was, I was that way. But, um, but you did very well in that part, I thought. Uh, by, no, the very, by the very quietness uh, yeah, or stillness yeah, of the part. Yeah, because most of the time when you, when, you, when you hit a spot and you get a line, you had a line there, but in your mind, Say, all this won't have happened if I didn't stay home with the boy. <laughs> so most of the time when you say something, it have a still part afterwards with that realization. Right. It is my fault, you know, but this thing is going right. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so wh how do you feel about that sort of acting? No, I mean, for yourself. Acting, um, um, just like I remember Reverend Grazard, Canon Farqua, the bishop in the Coffee Street Cathedral, and various small church people when I was doing Lord Have Mercy. And I add all the flavor, the character, to get the priest character. Just like that, I remember um, we, we, we had that problem in school with, with, with a teacher who had died in school and so on. And we had to analyze it, while we, but we still had to move along and so on. So a lot of, I pull from things I know. Um, the part where we playing card and talking and thing, I remember, I see really later playing all fours and I remember how he is, you know, how you entwine the card with the, with the discussion and so on. So a lot of things I pull from being but what, around. But what, what, but you enjoy that? Yeah, man, it's nice. It's nice. Because I can get it, because yes. you'll be conscious of what you have to do. Yes. You then have to translate it into visual for people to see it and so on. Right. And I think it, it went all right. You know. What, you, you have any prospects of doing more? Well, um, I get the two of them thing to do because Francis and know me and call me. Yes. Francis and my next one and she called me. I'll go. <laughs> I really don't advertise as being that. Right. But I could do that too, you know. No, the I experience is, is, is worth out. I could do that. It's yes. A, I think it was brave of her to, um, to, to take yes. you for that part. Yeah, well, that worried me because it was a serious thing. Yeah. So that when I reached and I read it out of what I could pull from mm -hmm. and where, you know, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. it was. But it was, I thought, I thought the, um, the, 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 the comedy was harder. Well, comedy is always harder. Yeah, because you had to. <laughs> and then you had 13 yeah. episodes to deal with too. Well, it's not only that. The um, the thing with my comedy was harder was. You're talking normal, uh -huh. but it's a comedy, so you had to know how much weight to put on the words and to make it. And, and had to be logical to mm -hmm. all those comedy, you know. So right. that I thought the comedy was harder. Yeah. It is easy to act straight because. No, it's but straight. I mean, I, I I don't know if you remember, we did a pilot for a sitcom. Um, for Christmas. Yes. Where we learned a lot about how to make a sitcom and how hard it is. Yes. And how very, really very difficult, difficult it is. The timing and writing the, and the, yeah, the, the yeah. lines and the laugh a minutes and all that sort of thing. How to do it, you know? Yeah. The, the, the change up, I tell you, it had more change of pace in the comedy than in this thing. You could talk one line and you could reflect and people see you serious. It's easy. But the comedy, boy, oh, good. I want to take another break. Um, and we will uh, be back in a moment with Dennis, so stay tuned. <laughs> 